beast! Oh, that was beast! What's your opinion on skateboarding at the school? Well, skateboarding as a whole, I don't have an issue with it. I think it's a pretty good hobby for kids. It keeps them off the street. It keeps them uh, focused on on uh, on doing something they like to do. And it helps create a bond. But there are, are there are rules for a reason. And, and if the rules are no skateboarding at school, um, then there's no skateboarding at school. Have you had any problems with skateboarding uh, this year? Uh, well, I myself, if I take your skateboard from you, it's, it's pretty drastic. It means you just totally disobeyed the authority of the adult. And, and we're not here, per se, to deter you from being a child and, and doing a, a wonderful hobby that you like to do. We're not here to, to, to tell you it's wrong to do it. We're just here to ask you not to do it here. And pretty much, I, I can only speak for myself, the kids are pretty respectable. When I ask them not to skateboard, they get off them quick, they hold them, and they're, they're really respectable. Um, as far as the other security go, uh, I know there's a couple that, that on a weekly basis have skateboards, um, but myself, I believe I created a strong enough bond and relationship with the students here and a respectable voice to where they uh, appreciate my authority and they understand where I'm coming from and they hold the skateboards until after school and then they skate. Why don't they allow skateboarding in school? All right. Whose property is the school, does the school belong to? Is it your property? No, it is not right. my property. So there are rules and regulations to um, where you can skate. The, the bottom line is it's not so much the skating, but it's the possibility of uh, liability, damage to property, and it's the insurance aspect of it. If you fell down and bust your head, if you have a house, you had a large house, and you've posted a sign in your house, don't walk on my grass, or don't ride your bicycles on my grass, and some clown comes riding, riding on your grass, are you going to get a little pissed off? Yeah. Right, it's the same issue. Yeah. It's not your property. It's the state of California, it's the city of San Diego, so on and so forth, and they ask you not to do it. Really, the bottom line here is insurance. This is what happens when you don't run fast enough. What? A citation. You got one? I got a citation a couple weeks ago on Saturday at School for uh, What's it for? for? Skating City College. Let's see that again. Let's see. Put it up so the camera can see. You guys really have this look and then went away. Well, yeah, Cedric just noticed to appear. To appear. Yeah. Do you think skateboarding should be allowed at school? Um, well, there's definitely a lot to offer at school for skateboarders, like some good benches, usually some cool banks and stairs and all that stuff. But there's always like two sides of the stories, uh, of the story, I mean. Um, like, it really does like tear, tear that stuff up, so someone did have to pay for it and it is kind of harmful to school property, so um, I would say no, it shouldn't be allowed, but it definitely is something that skateboarders should take advantage of, even though it's not allowed. Do you think they should allow skating at school? Yeah, I think, well, maybe not during school, but they should at least let us skate there after school. I think so, because we're not really, like, tagging or doing anything bad, we're just skating. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think it's prohibited, but that sucks. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's uh, cool, you know, like, they should allow it, because it's expression, you know, like, it's, it's just as much, much of the sport as uh, any other thing, so. It shows a lot about our culture and stuff, it just brings us together. You know, I like a lot about that and stuff, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's just good. Skateboarding kind of reminds me of rapping a little bit, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like, very, very similar, like, you know, you have your own styles to do it, like, if he wants to go do a beatbox right now. Can I get an example? Can an example? Can we get a freestyle? Yeah. Okay, okay. you got one in. About skateboarding, perhaps? Oh, sure, I'll so. try to, but it's hard freestyling about a certain subject. So, back in the day I used to go on the skateboard Now I just write rhymes and hit them C's, take more of their flows cause they can't spit it off the dome Well I mix a rhyme from the brain I suppose I got the skateboard gear, skateboard on my shirt I'm the mice and C, I'm not never a jerk 
Catch a bit of flow when disperse first with the work. Alice got the microphone and the yes it hurts. If they try to test him, my flows I'm still blessing. Alice gets yeah. dirty as a yeah. him when he tests them. Yeah. And Andrew coming through sitting on the bench. Spit flows wicked as a wick or a hex. I meant wish, but I messed up on my spraying. Flows to the land with the words I ain't playing. Coming back at this, Ian on the beatbox. Gotta get back on beat because I'm sort of off it. In my office, I write with words often. Hit him seeds with flows that I got, never stopping. And I got the flows, you just jock it while I got it. Kick flipping, word rhythm, still different, still twisting, still mic when I write abstract rapping. Come back with this, I don't know if it's on the beat. I don't know if this manual. is really for this thing. And I got a manual. That kind of makes sense because skateboarding and rap like really are going like close now, you know what I'm saying? Like the cultures are really mixing. Oh, yeah. So, oh. yeah.